See, product rule of logarithms. So what I want to do is look at what happens when we are adding up a couple logs, okay? So log base 2 of 4 is basically saying what power of 2 will give me 4. So that's 2. Log base 2 of 8 is saying what power of 2 will give me 8, which is 3. So 2 plus 3, this is going to be equal to 5. What I want to take a look at is what happens when we combine these two together. And to get that reference, I'm going to multiply these two insides and put that inside of a log. So log base 2 of 4 times 8 is a log base 2 of 32. Now this is saying what power of 2 will give me 32. 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. Fifth power. So what the product rule of logarithms is, is basically saying if we have two things inside of a log, namely log base b of x times y, and by log base b, this holds for any base as long as the base is a positive number. This is going to be equal to log base b of x plus log base b of y. Okay, so this is the product rule of logarithms. Now, if we are multiplying inside of the log, we can split it up as addition outside of the log. Okay, careful thing I want to point out is that this is not the same thing for log base b of x plus y. Okay, if we're adding inside the log, there is nothing we can do with that. This is stuck as is. Okay, it's only working when we're multiplying inside the log. So this works both ways. If we have the sum of two logs, same base, we could put it back together to be a product. Or if it's a product inside a log, we can split it up into two different logs.